Good evening, welcome to Local News 8 at 5. I'm Linda Larson, Todd has the night off. NATO allies said the UN Secretary Council is holding emergency meetings today after Russian troops attacked one of the 10 largest nuclear power plants in the world. Nuclear experts say no radioactive material was released at the facility in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia's bombing of civilian targets in Ukraine is ramping up. ABC's Faith Abube has the latest. Tonight, more heartbreaking scenes of the devastation Russia's war is unleashing in Ukraine. Family photos and children's toys covered in dust after explosions rocked residential buildings in the northern city of Irpin. Neighbors salvaging some of their belongings and then using a ladder to get out of the shelled building. Unfortunately, tragically, horrifically, uh, this may not uh, be over soon. Both NATO and the UN Security Council holding emergency meetings Friday to condemn Russia's attack on Europe's largest nuclear power plant in Ukraine. Fortunately, the plant's nuclear reactors were not hit, but rescue workers spent hours overnight putting out a massive fire at an administrative building on the ground. Russian forces say they now control the nuclear facility. Ukraine's President Zelensky warning an explosion at the nuclear plant would be, quote, the end for everyone, the end for Europe. Mr. Putin must stop this madness. Meantime, gunfire and air raid sirens blaring across Ukraine's capital city, Kyiv. Residents bracing for the arrival of that miles-long Russian military convoy, U.S. officials say, has stalled about 17 miles away. Russian forces ramping up their attacks, indiscriminately firing on hospitals and civilian targets while moving into key cities. Ukraine's President Zelensky repeating his urgent calls for the U.S. and NATO to impose an immediate no-fly zone over his country. But NATO Secretary General echoing the White House, rejecting that position. If we did that, we we'll end up with something that could end in a full-fledged war in Europe. And Ukraine's president wasn't pleased with that answer at all. He called NATO weak and confused. He said NATO will be to blame for civilian deaths from today onward. Faith Abube, ABC News, Washington. East Idahoans can also get involved showing love and support for Ukraine with a special event taking place Sunday in Rexburg. It's happening at the Rexburg Tabernacle at 5 to 6 and will feature speakers and musical numbers. Now everyone is invited to attend the event for free.